Utopia, Travis Scott's fifth studio album, is arguably his best work yet. But what makes this album sound so good? Aside from Travis's vocal performance, it's the production, brought to us by some of the industry's best producers. In this video, I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at Utopia and the producers who created it, giving you an insight into how the beats on this album were created. This is the Utopia Blueprint. Back in 2020, when the concept of Utopia was first teased by Travis, it was clear there was only one goal in mind, to create his best album yet. I'm on a fucking mission, man. Like We trying to literally build up these gates at Utopia and make it happen. So how do you go about creating an album to outshine something as impressive as Astro World? The answer is collaboration. He be having crazy camps, like when we work on the albums and stuff. He know how to set the tone and stuff. Travis took every big producer, artist, and personality available to him, put them in the same room, and got to work. So who were these producers? Well, there are the usual collaborators such as Wonder Girl, Mike Dean, Metro Boomin, OZ, and even Kanye himself. But the key to creating a fresh and current sound is to work with the upcoming talent that is just breaking through, such as Benny X, Nami, and Des Wright. One thing that always helps an artist make a great album is when they're involved in every aspect of the creative process. We have seen this from the likes of Kanye, who we all know is one of Travis's biggest influences, so it makes total sense that Travis is having that same level of involvement in these different areas. With Travis having multiple producer credits on this album, as well as recording himself on various occasions as well. Speaking of Kanye, the influence of Travis's longtime mentor is ever present on this album, from the drums on Circus Maximus and Lost Forever to the cadence of Modern Jam and Love. Not only are there glimpses of Kanye's previous sound on this album, but there are multiple songs that started out in Kanye's possession before being repurposed for Utopia. With so many different influences, samples and involvements on Utopia, it may seem like a miracle that it still sounds like a concise album. Well that is all thanks to the synth god himself, Mike Dean, who worked on basically every song on this album. I mixed half the album, I'd say. And I co-produced like four or five songs. Yeah, he just brought me in basically all the biggest songs. Make sure it's like yeah. buttoned up. Like, like he called them focus tracks. You can hear Mike's signature analogue sound all over this album. Overall, I hear three different styles of music on this album. You've got the Kanye-influenced boom-bap songs such as Hyena, Sirens, Circus Maximus and Lost Forever. Then you have the trap sound heard on songs such as Thank God, Meltdown, Fiend, I Know and My Eyes. And finally, there is the pop and alternative sound in Modern Jam, Del Resto, Love and K-Pop. So in this blueprint video, I'm gonna create three beats that sound like they would fit right into the Utopia track list and walk you through how I made them and the techniques that I used. Let's get started. So the first beat we're working on today is inspired by the songs I Know and Thank God. Kind of a combination between the two. Those songs are produced by a number of producers, but mainly Wonder Girl and OZ. And their production styles are very present on these beats. I've kind of taken my favorite parts from both of those songs, put them into one beat. So let's get into it. So we started off with this melody sample. So I chopped it up and ended up with this. Effects wise, I'm using a chain of a Juno chorus, tape mellow fi, reverb for some ambience, and echo boy for that delay. Let's get into the drums. The hi-hat pattern I've used has a lot of gaps in it. It's not a constant two-step. Cool little effect you can do in FL Studio called echo delay. Turned on the feed a little bit, two echoes, ping pong mode, and turn the pitch down a little bit. Just fills that space, makes it a lot more bouncy. I then filled in the gaps in between with two sounds. One being a piece of the sample I chopped out and then added some crazy effects to. A plugin called EFX Fragments, which is like a granular kind of like texture plugin. Also, I've paired that up with a chord and I added this preset from EFX Fragments called Data Repeater and it gives it this really crazy like looping sound. And that just reminds me of the kind of effects that Travis uses on his vocals and stuff. So the sample so far sounds like this. So I added in a reversed and pitched down version of that melody as well in here. You might be able to hear a little bell sound coming in there that sounds kind of familiar to Thank God, I guess. And I, and I guess I know they're both used to these sort of like bell sounds. And to get that to sound like it does, we've got a Echo Boy and a Valhalla Frequency Echo. And then this part of the melody here has a bunch of effects on it. But this sound too is the main source for this. So this is a really, really crazy plugin.
that's basically the melodies with the 808 i went for a similar sound and pattern to i know it's got like a lot of gaps it's like short notes that kind of like move with the rhythm of the beat and that inspired me to do something like this <laughs> Down here, we got these two drum fills. Wondergo is a producer who loves to use these little chopped up acoustic drum grooves in her beats. So I've just kind of replicated that in my own way here by chopping up some fills. We've also got this really nice effect down here from my modular madness kit. Reminds me of something that like Mike Dean would use. A lot of the songs on this album have switch ups, sometimes two or three switch ups in one song. So I really wanted to take that and put it into my beat as well. So kind of like bridge the gap between the two sections. We've got this really crazy breakdown section. It kind of comes in a bit crazy like that. There's a lot going on. So the first thing that we should talk about is definitely this synth bass pattern. What makes this really unique is that we've got the synth bass, but it's also layered with a choir to give it that Kanye type sound. Then we've just got this standard vocal on there with a mad delay on it. And that just leads into our second beat. And this one is inspired by Meltdown. It's a lot more of a simple beat. We started with these chords here. Super simple chords, basically this triad chord here with the middle note just down onto the C sharp to give it that dark sound. And then we've got these high notes here just to make it stand out a little bit more. And that just has a gross beat on it, one beat gate just to give it that bounce. The drums on this one are quite simple. And then we've got this reversed vocal layer here. Yeah, it reminds me of something that OZ would use. Altogether, this main section sounds like this. Now we've got this breakdown section here where things do definitely change up a lot. We've got our melody pitched down an octave. It's also got a portal on it, which is just the Manglesmere preset combined with a bit more of a simple 808 pattern as well. And we've also added in something really cool. This is like a, a Benny X style bass. Benny X has production credits on Meltdown as well. And you can hear those type of like weird bass sounds in there. So then let's listen to both beats now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Tell me that you still love It's 5 a.m. and I'm drunk right now Tell me can we still fuck One on one, I'm in the zone right now Tell me am I still mm. Tell me you just how I feel right now You say it's just the drugs And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I lied to you To cover the next section of the album, we're obviously working on the Kanye inspired beats now. This first one is inspired by Circus Maximus. I've gone for the same style of drums, same chords. So this is a very, very similar beat. So let's get into the drums, man. We basically are working with a triplet bounce. Get those kind of like black skin head style drums. It's all come together and sounds like this. So that compared to like the original. Slightly different sound, but same pattern. I also laid in this chanting crowd sound from like a stadium. I thought it just really fit the vibe. And then let's get into the melodic side of this beat. Um, it's very simple. We've got these chords here, which I created using the Hive synth, which is a really good plugin, by the way. So 
So we're using a similar effects chain as before, chorus, reverb, and the tape mellify as well. They're just rising, it just gives it that epic kind of feel, you know, which is what I was going for, obviously, to get that Circus Maximus kind of feel. And then we've got a synth bass as well. This is from Repro, which is again, another great plugin. That's obviously Mike Dean inspired. All these synth sounds are, to be honest, especially this element here, which is just like an ARP sound. So yeah, all together the beat sounds like this. This is the main section. And then I decided to add in another switch up, just like a, a breakdown to just bridge the two pieces together. I've got this bass sound in here, which is so Kanye, it's insane. We've got a siren here from the power song. And then we've also got the same uh, modular synth kind of riser. One thing I should mention as well is I used the acapellas to really help me build these beats up. The vocals really helped me to go through the process of elimination with certain sounds and certain ideas and really helped me get to the final result quicker. So if there's one thing to take away from this video and from these episodes, it's that using acapellas is very, very good. <laughs> so definitely give it a try. But yeah, that's this main beat. Very, very simple, but obviously so is the original. That then takes us to our switch up. Again, we've got another switch up for you guys. This one is inspired by the song Hyena. I wanted to go absolutely crazy with this one, but the the idea in itself is still very simple. We've got two sounds here. They're called Harpers Chords, which is like, I'm convinced the actual sound they used in the sample. I actually recorded them using my Mellotron synth and these sounds are found in my Synth Palace kit. So I took that, put it into a fruity slicer. And this is a trick that Wonder Girl has been using for the past like decade in her beats. She'll put it on time stretch 200%. Uh, pitched it down, played with the attack and decay and all that stuff and just kind of made a little pattern with it. This main melody sounds like it does because of this effects change. You've got the chorus, tape mellow-fi, Valhalla vintage verb, echo boy, delay. It sounds real, real similar to Hyena. And another thing that sounds like Hyena is the drums. Let's break them down. We've got this perk loop here from my guy Lynx kit. I opted for something like this over a hi-hat because it just fits the vibe way better. Uh, we've then got some kicks here. These sounds are from the S1 Yeezus drum kit. Obviously, this beat and a couple of songs on the album are massively inspired by the work that was done on Yeezus, both by Kanye and obviously Travis as well who worked on it so I thought that this sound design was really at home on this beat so we've got a really crazy kick crazy snare and then with the perk loop but the final touch is definitely the 808 really distorted heavy hitting and then obviously that with the melody as well We've got a more simple version of that melody as well in here. Like the TIE Fighter sound from Meltdown. We've also got a drum fill as well. That's basically it. That's done right there. So once I put the acapellas on these beats, they sound crazy. Check it out. Yeah. Okay, this shit is out of control. I'm driving through hell and I done brought snow. It's shining in here and I done brought gold. I hear the sirens right out the chateau. Run me the info. Trying to hear what you did now, you came close. Cause I get bobblehead like I done made pro. 
I made it tell you real, I got it made though I be all around the map Write a show by myself like I'm Chelsea Handler Or write a series by my bitches like I'm Kelsey Graham But me in the Jet Jayhawk cause it's out of Kansas You know it's falling in my talk, I'm in my Esperanza You know it's lemon water while we gotta feel the stands up With slaps in the anthems, go at it justice I got you in all my stances, with your model stances You everything I know about it I really had a hard time making this one This one is inspired by Del Resto It's one of the songs that makes up the pop like alternative sound on this album Let's break it down So I started with these drums I'm using a shaker, I'm using a bit of an unorthodox drum bounce. I'm not really sure what genre this song even fits into, to be honest. It's just like the original, it has like really like intimate and kind of weird drums. The most prominent element in this beat is probably the synth bass. We're using the Hive VST for that as well. So yeah, we've got a bunch of different arcades that I've used for like ambience, background sound. If you guys want to know what arcades we use, we use some Pop Underground, Future Perfect, and also some Zero Hour as well. Check those out if you guys use arcade. We've then added in a sound, which is this like really cool like mallet type sound. And that leads us into our next section here, but let's play this one all together. Yeah, next section, we've got these cool little vocal chops here. And we've got on there a Saturn 2, Echo Boy, Vintage Verb, Pro Q3 EQ, and then a Fruity Fast Distortion as well. Another sound we've used as well is this Dark Pluck, sounds like a one shot. We've also got the chords down here, they sound like this. I'll show you guys the more advanced bass pattern. This is what I'm using for the main chorus. Finally, just some more background ambience from Arcade down here. So I passed the beat to my guy Link, who's gone in and added a bunch of crazy shit. Starting with some effects. And then he stacked these two synth sounds together, one of which has like a really crazy bend in it. Now he's adding a reworked synth bass for a breakdown. This Fab Filter 1 plugin is a really good plugin. It's probably one of the best synth plugins out there. It's one that people like Alan Ritter recommend. It gives you that Mike Dean type of sound. Speaking of Mike Dean, listen to this crazy synth roll. That all together gives us our final beat. This one took ages. And once you guys hear this with the vocals, you won't be disappointed. So let's check it out.
So that's all the beats I'm going to make in today's video, but do not go anywhere because I got a bunch more sauce and tips for you guys. Let's get into it. So Travis Scott is the only credited producer on Hyena and we know he used a sample, so it's safe to assume he likely used his MPC 2000 XL to make this beat. The original sample is Cigarettes Sir Cigarettes by Michael Corringe, which is an indie rock song from the late 60s. If we go on tracklib.com, we can easily find a similar sample if we apply these same search filters. If we take this sample and a hard drum break, which I also found on tracklib.com, and put them together with a few tweaks, we get something like this. Modern Jam is an adaptation of an early beat from the Kanye and Daft Punk sessions back in 2012 to 2013 for the Yeezus album. Its main component is the hard hitting drums which can be found in any Roland TR909 sample pack. This classic drum machine was used heavily alongside the Lin drum machine by Daft Punk at this time and the sound it creates is very similar to Modern Jam. Here is something that I came up with. The sample for God's Country was created by Des Wright who needs no introduction. The process of him making this is on screen now and we can see a few of the techniques he used to do so. Aside from just recording his vocals, he ran them through the space echo which gives it the trippy delayed effect. Combined with everyone's favourite instrument, the recorder and some detune, we get something like this. Fiend was another song produced solely by Travis himself and my favourite part of this beat is definitely the chord progression and the crazy slide effect that was used. To achieve this in FL Studio all we need is a saw wave and a simple chord progression just like this. Then we take one note in the first chord and change it to a different colour then do the same for the second chord that it's going to slide to. The final result should sound something like this. Topia Twins is produced by Weezy and Travis Scott and is one of the hardest beats on Utopia. The best part of this beat is definitely the detuned guitar melody, which is a sound closely associated with a Travis Scott type beat. To achieve this, we can use any decent electric guitar VST such as this Ilya Efimov library in contact. The detune effect in Guitar Rig 6 gives us this perfect slow pitch bend that we need. Schizo has about four different beats in the six minute runtime, so there's plenty to cover there, but for right now I just want to focus on the last part, which uses a sample from Nami called Pot of Gold. Nami has shown his process before, so we can see a lot of the sounds he uses are either from VST plugins like Contact, or his collection of analog synths and pedals. This sample features vocals, chords, brass, and a bass guitar. Nami uses an old mic to give his vocals that vintage feel, and we can get a similar effect with the following plugins. The bass guitar is from the Contact Bank Scarby Rickenbacker bass, and can sound very realistic. Combined with some nice Rhodes chords, we get something like this. The first beat of Lost Forever is produced mainly by The Alchemist using a combination of two samples. One being the 70s song Don't Be So Nice by Chuck Senrick and the other being James Blake's Forever. If we go on tracklib.com we can easily find two similar samples, especially if you look inside the Alchemist playlist. And once we've isolated the vocal phrase we like and layered it over the main sample, we get something like this. The final song on Utopia, Till Further Notice, is produced by Metro Boomin and James Blake and contains some of the hardest drum sounds I've ever heard. Metro likely played these in from one of his classic drum machines, either the MPC 2000 XL or the SP 1200. These old drum machines process sounds differently to doors and give them a more analog style crunch. We can achieve the same effect if we run sounds through a plugin like the Cymatics Diablo. I'm using drum sounds for my MPC drum kit which has over 200 sounds in it inspired by Metro Boomin's production style and you can get it if you click the link down below in the description. Here's what I got. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I actually had a really good time making this one, although it took a very, very long time and a lot of effort has gone into it. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Travis Scott album? What did you think of Utopia? And what did you think of the beats we made? Are they sounding accurate? Are they sounding good? Let me know down in the comments. If you want to get any of the sound kits I used to make this video, those links will be down in the description. And make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay updated with everything I'm doing at Prompt by Jack. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.